Welcome back to Biotech Simplified. Today we will discuss about another medicinal plant which is Punica granatum. So first let us discuss about its habit. So it is a small deciduous tree and it is up to a 10 meter high. So its habit is a small deciduous tree which is a 10 meter in height. So Next, let us discuss about its habitat. So, it is commonly found in arid and sub-arid regions of India. The Punica granatum is found in India where places where less rain is received. And now let us discuss about its useful parts. Its useful parts are fruit rain and the root bark. So this is Punica granatum which is pomegranate. So this pomegranate is a small tree and it is a deciduous tree that is it sheds its leaf during certain period of time and later these leaves regrow. So it is a small deciduous tree and it is only 10 meter in height. So now let us discuss about its morphology. First we will discuss the morphology of the root bark. So the root bark is rough and on its outer surface it is dark brown whereas on its inner surface it is yellowish brown and it is smooth. So the outer surface is rough and it is dark brown in color. Whereas the inner surface is smooth and it is yellowish brown in color. It also has a irregular patches of cork which is seen on the outer side. So on the outer side irregular patches of cork is visible. So this is about the root bark. Now we will discuss about another useful part which is fruit rind. So the fruit rind is reddish brown in color. As we all know the pomegranate is reddish brown in color and it has depressions of seeds on the inner sides and it is a bitter in taste and it has tannins present in it. So the fruit rind is reddish brown in color and on the inner side they have depressions of seeds. The fruit rind is bitter in taste and it has tannins present in them. So this is the fruit of Punica granatum which is pomegranate. So the outer covering of pomegranate is reddish brown in color. So this covering is as you can see it is reddish brown in color. Whereas in the inside of the cover they have depressions. So this depressions is because of the seeds which are present inside them. So due to the seeds the inner side of the fruit rind has depressions where the outer covering is smooth and it is reddish brown in color. Next let's discuss the phytochemicals. So we will discuss first the phytochemicals that are present on the fruit rind. So they are granatin B, collagen, punicatin, elagic acid. So these are the phytochemicals that are present in the fruit rind. So now let us discuss the phytochemicals that are present in the bark. So they are alkaloids. So alkaloids such as pelletrine, methyl pelletrine are present in the bark. So now let us discuss about the pharmaceutical action. So it is an estrogen. It is a laxative. Laxative means that it is a substance which increases or stimulates the bowel movement and relieves the constipation. So such a substance is called laxative. So Punica granatum has such effect. It is anti-helminthic 
and it is anti diarrheal which means that it can kill or destroy the parasitic worms that are present in the body so it is anti helminthic so it is anti diarrheal which means that it can stop or slow down the diarrhea it is also cns depressor which means that the central nervous system depressor so they are depressor that is they can slow down the brain activity so in slowing down the brain activity we have can decrease anxiety panic attacks and can also cure the sleep disorders so the punica granatum is also a cns depressor it is also diuretic that is the urine passing can be increased so it is also hypothermic which means that the loss of heat can be done so these are the pharmaceutical action that is the common pharmaceutical actions of punica granatum so now we will discuss some more pharmaceutical effects of punica granatum so the pericarp of punica granatum has antibacterial activity in them that is it is antibacteria against salmonella typhi so now we'll discuss another pharmaceutical effect so the punica granatum extract can control the growth of many microbes which are present in the oral cavity so this is also another pharmaceutical effect of punica granatum another effect is that the extract of punica granatum or the pomegranate has an effect against herpes virus punica granatum has factors in them which can heal the wounds so punica granatum is responsible for healing wounds so the flower of pomegranate also has pharmaceutical effects it is responsible for lowering the blood glucose level the pomegranate juice also is significantly used in pharmaceuticals it can reduce the total cholesterol level and it is also used in the treatment of lung cancer hope the concept of punica granatum is clear for more such videos do subscribe to our channel biotech simplified if you like the video please like and share with your friends